Ever wondered if Apple would ever catch up to Google's Material U customization features on its iPhones? Well, wonder no more. With the release of iOS 18, Apple has been taking a step in the right direction, introducing new customization options that bring it closer to Google's offerings. But what exactly does iOS 18's icon theming entail? And how does it compare to Material U? Let's dive in and find out. Uh, what's new on iOS 18? Apple has finally given iPhone users more control over their device's appearance. With iOS 18, users can now rearrange app icons on the home screen, customize the control center, and even personalize app icons. And while some of these features may seem familiar to Android users, Apple has put its unique spin in on them. For instance, instead of using dynamic color extraction like Material U, iOS 18 allows users to extract a color from their wallpaper using a color picker or manually select another preferred color from the slider. How does it compare to Material U? Uh, Material U, uh, Google's design language, creates harmony across a user's device by providing a consistent appearance for all apps and widgets. With iOS 18, Apple has taken a similar uh, even though you can modify the silver uh, pear fashion type of icon windows and found them in. However, unlike Material U, which generates a personalized color palette that coordinates across all elements of the interface, iOS 18's app colors offer a single color option for home game screen, icons, and widgets. While this may seem like a step back, Apple's approach has its advantages. For instance, iOS 18 applies a consistent tint to all app icons, even those yet to be updated, creating a unified look across the home screen. Um, on the other hand, Material U only affects apps that have been updated to support theming, which can lead to some illegible or indistinct app icons. If you haven't, you customize now half-baked start, but a welcome one. Well, iOS 18's icon tinting feature may seem less polished than Material U, it's still a positive move forward. With its new customization options, Apple has shown that it's all willing to give users more control over their device's appearance. Uh, however, there's still room for improvement. For instance, the control center, settings, in-app menus, and other aspects of the interface remain unaffected by the tint, creating a disjointed experience. Uh, with that said, thanks for watching, and until next time. And just for fun, here's a joke. Why did the iPhone cross the road? To get to the other side of the customization options.